Now, welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to the Naked Racer Bar Cafe. Now, initially, the only reason I went here was because I was looking for brunch or breakfast or lunch, um, and it ended up being brunch, and went to this place that was nearby where we were visiting, and it turned out to be just as good as the place we went to um, and we did some homework about. This place is probably the best place if you're a motorcycle enthusiast or like anything to do with uh, motorcycles or if you're into patrolling armor or if you're looking for things for a, I guess what they call a man cave these days. This place was just terrific. But most importantly, we initially just went there to get something to eat and the food was fantastic. The service, absolutely second to none. But you had the bonus of wandering around this museum. Now, in this museum, there are a lot of classic motorcycles from what I've been told. And once again, I am no expert on motorcycles. I do like to ride them. Um, I will tinker with them a little bit, uh, but normally I leave it to a friend to uh, help me with the maintenance or I take it to a uh, workshop to get it done. But at this location, you get to have a lovely meal. Um, they have workshop there, they have uh, sales. So some of these motorbikes you'll see um, are for sale, but they've also got uh, a lot of other um, interesting uh, memorabilia and things you can buy associated with motorcycling. They also have, uh, as I mentioned, the workshops, and I believe they are a, a dealer of two mates of uh, motorcycles, I think. It's definitely the Indian motorcycles, but also another one. But what I will do is I'll leave a link to this location and to this uh, business, and um, you can find out a hell of a lot more than I can tell you in such a short period of just 10 to 12 minutes, how long this video will go for. But the, um, as you can see, some of these motorbikes are absolute monsters. And then you've got a lot of kids ones as well. And it's just a fun place. It's it's absolutely for free to go through the museum. Uh, I did ask if I could take some video and some photos and they were more than happy for, for me to do so. Uh, and I have tried my best to not get anyone else in the footage. So it remained private. But basically where I am now, directly behind me, is where one can eat. And yeah, if you have a look, some of these motorbikes, uh, I'm pretty sure they're worth um, a pretty penny and they are for sale not all of them but some are so without further ado let's wander around the naked racer bar cafe which is also a museum it also has workshops it also does motorcycle sales it does have a club membership if you want to join they do have live bands on the weekend uh, breakfast and lunch is seven days a week and i believe on the weekend um, they have dinner as well, and that's when they have the live bands. And I'd sort of suggest that maybe booking that evening meal or the dinner period would be sort of a good way of guaranteeing you a, a table. This looks like a very popular place when we were here. Uh, we were very lucky to be able to sit down. Um, and once we did, shortly after, a whole bunch of other people came and they basically had to queue up on how popular this place was. So without further ado, and me stop rambling, um, check out this terrific museum and cafe.
you, it's definitely something different for me to experience. Totally unexpected. I just came here for uh, brunch, as I mentioned, and I think I could have wandered around for another hour uh, and sort of having a closer look at some of these bikes that were on display for sale. And I believe some are also being um, there, uh, they're there for some sort of maintenance or something. But once again, if you enjoyed it, give us that thumbs up, hit that like button, and please subscribe. Subscribe, it doesn't cost you one cent, and it really helps out this channel. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and on this occasion, ride safe, and have a great day.